there is another one more situation where tayammum is allowed. What is that situation? Let's say someone, and this can be common, let's say someone who is disabled, meaning he is bedridden and he is sick, and let's say he broke his wudu, and he does not have someone who could help him to go to the bathroom, because you know, let's say, yeah, because you know you have to someone to bring the water for him to wash him when he had you know when he had broken his wudu. What should he, what should he do? Does he does no? He, he's allowed in that situation to make tayammum, yeah, especially when he have no one to aid him to help him. Then he's allowed in that situation to make tayammum. And I said another things that is wallahi we should be proud of our faith the fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have enabled us and given us these permissions for us to take advantage of in situations that that is a that are appropriate okay